Last time, I made a video about how to create a 2.5D game. When creating the video, it was intended to be a starting point and just showcase some basic ideas like terrains, sprites, and even some 3D modeling. Keeping that in mind, there was a video suggestion on the Discord server from Regular Human, who is apparently in love with 2.5D. Their suggestion was they wanted to see some tips and tricks for 2.5D, also Octopath. So Regular Human, Following your suggestion, here are my tips and tricks to enhancing your 2.5D world using Unity. Before we jump into today's video, if you're new around here and want to learn more about Unity or game creation as a whole, please consider subscribing. I typically post about topics that don't have a lot of resources online and like this video once suggested by you guys. So if you followed the last tutorial, we should already have some sort of 2.5D environment that we can walk around in. Since Regular Human mentioned Octopath, which I'm sure we can all agree has amazing visuals, we're going to try and recreate something similar to this scene here. Although Octopath was made in Unreal, I'm confident we can achieve a similar result in Unity. Before we start, I want to announce that accompanying this video, I am releasing an almost two hour long unedited version. It is essentially real time footage of me making the scene, sharing a bunch of tips and tricks, behind the scenes, and showing every click along the way. So, when you're done watching this video, make sure you check it out. The link will be in the description. Let's get started by analyzing our reference and pointing out some major contributors to the Octopath style. The first thing you might notice is there's actually quite a bit of 3D models here. Our demo really only has the house, so we'll definitely need to fill our environment with more 3D objects. The next thing is the utilization of the Z position, aka depth. By positioning the objects in our game world just a little bit better, we will have a better time understanding the space and really sell the depth of our game. The last, and arguably the most important thing, is the lighting. We can easily notice some major contributors, the god rays on the left, which is a nightmare in Unity, and the shadows on the ground, which tell us this village is under a large canopy of trees. Let's not forget the post-processing, with the extra bloom and high contrast, it really grounds everything in the scene into one cohesive environment. So, now that we have some sort of an idea of how to get that Octopath style, Let's hop into Unity and get to work. After jumping into Unity, I disabled all the pre-existing background elements as we won't be needing those anymore. And with a blank canvas, the first thing I noticed is the terrain had to be completely redone. Rather than altering the existing one, I decided to make more work and deleted it and started on an entirely new one from scratch. While making the terrain, I kept referencing the Octopath scene. Not with the intention of making a one-to-one -one recreation, but something very similar. After I got the landscape down, I added some basic textures, just to make it a little bit more obvious what I was looking at. As a side note, I'll probably alter the terrain a bunch while making this scene, so just keep that in mind. After the basic texturing, I consulted with the list we made earlier, and started on the modeling. If you remember from the previous video, the process is actually very simple. All we do is go into Blender, use the knife tool, separate our sprite, and give it some thickness. When that's done, we just save it out and repeat for each 3D object we want in our scene. With all the models finished and imported, now for the hard part. Not only do we need to utilize the depth I mentioned earlier, but we also have to place the models in a way that looks good. Luckily, I have the reference from earlier, so I can just use that as a guide. Seriously, this is a lot harder than it looks. It's no wonder why there are game designer and environment artist positions typically in a game company. With the scene now built, I move on to the lighting. There's no denying that Octopath has very distinct lighting. And although it's made in the Unreal Engine, which has an entirely different lighting system, we can mimic most of the elements and create something very similar in Unity. Obviously, this isn't going to be a one-to-one -one recreation, but it will look fairly similar. Before we get into all the knobs and sliders that is post-processing, I first want to add the canopy effect that we see in the reference. There is 100% a better way to do this, but for our simple demo, I use a plane with some noise and a cutout material. All I do then is just move it around until it looks good, and move on to the god rays. The god rays are just a simple particle system which I followed this tutorial on reddit for. A link for that tutorial will be in the description. After moving them into place, it was now time for the post-processing. I created an empty game object called volume and added a volume component. By hitting this button, you can create a new volume and start adding overrides. 
After fidgeting with the sliders and options for a few minutes, I ended up with something that looked pretty close to our reference. If I took you through each and every setting, we would probably be here all day. So I'll put the settings on screen and quickly go over all of them. For the volume I added, more contrast, a slight peach color filter, less saturation, a slight vignette, a bunch of bloom, and finally depth of field. Even though these are my exact settings, they might need to be tweaked for your project and taste. Lastly, I went into the lighting settings and changed our ambient color to a nice white yellow. And that's it for the lighting. With the lighting done, I repositioned a few models, added some more foliage, fixed the terrain, and added particles, and then I called it finished. I'm really happy with how this one turned out, and I can easily picture our demo just as a small part of a large finished game. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. It really helps the channel grow and encourages YouTube to recommend my video to people who need it. As always, if you get stuck, we have a wonderful community on Discord where we all help each other out. And I'm always open to video suggestions or feedback. But that's all the time we have for this video. Thanks for watching and staying until the end. Bye!